Now, there were clashes in a Leicester car park this morning, but don't worry, they all had royal approval. Medieval knights were marking the spot where it's thought is the lost grave of King Richard III. Excavation work is about to begin to establish if his remains are, in fact, underneath the tarmac. Quentin Rayner reports. There is a connection between medieval knights fighting in a council-owned car park in Leicester and the mighty Battle of Bosworth fought 20 miles away in 1485. It was a pivotal moment in British history. Richard III was defeated by Henry Tudor, and it marked both the end of the Wars of the Roses and the Plantagenet dynasty. After the Battle of Bosworth, Richard's body was stripped and slung on a horse and brought here to Leicester, where it was put on public display. It was then buried at Greyfriars Church, and it's known the ruins of that church are under this car park. In the early 17th century, long after the friary had gone and been demolished, the new owner of the site erected a pillar that said, here, beneath this spot, were the remains of Richard III. The team will be using a machine called a ground penetration radar. It's allowing us to see two metres below the ground, so it should detect any foundations related to the church or indeed um, a grave. If Richard's remains are found, his DNA will be compared to his 17th generation nephew, who gave a fresh swab today to help confirm the lost king's identity. Quite um, startling, I think is the word, and uh, slightly surreal. So do you think you've got royal blood then? <laughs> well, I think I shall from now. <laughs> Certainly have not up until now. It's the first ever search for the grave of an anointed king, so to find him, it would be fantastic, really fantastic. I mean, we are pretty excited about it, but, uh, you know, we've got to cut the ground yet. The car park is in the shadow of Leicester Cathedral. Royal authorities have said it would be proper to reinter his remains there, where there is already a commemorative slab and fit for a king. Quentin Rayner, East Midlands Today, Leicester.